Welcome to Cypress Creek Adventures. Hey there. Welcome to this week's Cypress Creek Adventures. This week we had a request to show how I made this this axe that I showed in previous videos from an axe head that I dug uh, while I was metal detecting. So stay tuned. So this is the the axe that I made before. And this is this axe here uh, next to it is one that I dug, and this one also that I dug while I was metal detecting. And this one here is kind of thin and is really worn out, it's rusted out really bad, and um, so we won't be able to use this one. This one here is not too bad, but it's awful short compared to the to the other one that I used. But we'll make something out of this, and it, it's still heavy enough. As you can tell, it's uh, pounded on on the back to split firewood. And they have fancy splitters back then. And, they, and these axe heads are, tend to be from the 20s and 30s and 40s. Uh, the same style here that has a notch on the bottom. And this one here is just a straight-sided one. But these older ones, and this one here was just exactly the same as this. It's just that this one here was, you know, of course, a lot longer across here. All right, before we start on this project, I wanted to show the condition of this axe head up close so you can tell the progress as we go along. As you can see, it was well used. And it's been in the ground for a long time, probably 50 or 60 years. And, you know, the handle rotted away a long time ago. It does have a very good edge on it, but it's been sharpened and used a, a lot because it's shorter. So we're going to take and clean this thing up. I've taken the axe and I laid it over top of this on this paper and trace it out and where these marks are here this is where the handle goes through so we we know that that part is hollow so my proposal is to to go and where the dotted lines are and cut this out and make a little different shape but retain the full edge of the cutting edge that's there okay i want to start with this wire wheel we get this all cleaned up and get all this dirt and everything from when it was dug out of the ground. It hasn't had anything done to it since I, since I found it. So we'll start with this wire wheel. Okay, so you can see it was pretty crusty still, but we got all the dirt off and everything. And right here used to be a number of what size this axe was, and you can barely make it out. It's just, just a little mark left now. Now, the other part I wanted to show on here, now that we got this cleaned up, you can see this edge right across here. This this is the cutting edge has been uh, tempered so that it'll stay very sharp all the time. And it's possibly that this axe was probably even handmade or or you know this this piece was applied afterwards after this was um you know put together so this could have been welded on by blacksmith or whoever made the uh, you know uh, axe company and as you can see it's really pronounced on this side so this edge here is your cutting edge and it would have been kept very sharp because of that okay so now i've put my little wheel on the on my small grinder and we're going to go over this and and knock all these pits off and get this smooth back down to where it was and uh, before we put the big grinder on it and and when we put the big grinder on we'll be able to take and clean all this up and then and then we'll cut this out uh, I don't have a real shop here this is uh, my outside work area is, is the best I have but I'm still able to take do these kind of projects and that I enjoy doing and uh, just got some basic uh, power tools 
So let's get it done. Okay, we got our axe head, just we knocked off all the top uh, hard rust and uh, cleaned it off a little bit so we can mark it out. And this is uh, what I've come up with. I'm going to try to stay within this line and the close line here. Uh, you say, well, why do you go to all this trouble to, to do an axe when you can just clean it up and put a handle in it? Well, one thing, I like to take some weight off it. The other two, uh, number two, is that you would you never find an axe like this in a store. We'll put a shorter handle on it, and it'll be very good for, you know, a little utility axe or camp axe. All right, so now I've gone to my bigger grinder, and I have a, a cutting wheel that I've installed on here. It's very thin, but it cuts through this metal. And so what I've done so far is I, I've cut these edges here on each side. So now we're going to take and cut these lines right here on each side right here and right here. Okay, so we got the bottom cut off, and this thing gets really hot, so I have water here that, to cool it down, because I don't want it to get too hot, but also I need to be able to hold on to it. So, it's a lot of work. We're going to uh, finish this uh, cutting part up, and cut this top off, and we're going to do a little little change here, just to, to kind of match things up, balance things a little bit better. And uh, so we'll go ahead and cut this top off, and then we'll be back. Okay, so now I've got this cut out. And this is our basic shape. So now I'll take a big grinder and, and get this cleaned up and shape the edges and, and get it all shined up real nice. Okay, so we've got a couple hours worth of work here. And uh, got this down to a shape and it's kind of uh, turned out to be kind of like a tomahawk looking thing, but we're going to. Uh, trim this uh, handle down more down here and shorten this up so have a nice handle and I'll uh, get this polished up and we'll be back when we get ready to uh, put the handle on all right I'm back here this morning we'll finish up this axe uh, project and this is after an, about another half hour or so of polishing and working with the file and cleaning it up this is what we ended up with. So as you can see it's it's different. So we're gonna see get ready to put the handle on. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we got our handle here that I bought. Uh, I wish I had enough shop to, to make a really nice handle from scratch, but we're gonna use this. This was for the next size lower. So we're gonna uh, lower size uh, axe and of course this has a pretty big hole 
So we're going to drop down here and cut this back and then bring it bring this down and put the axe in here and we'll trim this off. All right, so I've taken the saw and made this thin curve here. And then we're going to take a chisel and chisel this back and cut this back and then we'll try our axe head on here. Got this work down. There's a little dirt on here from the inside, which is good because it shows that this is tight on here. So after some work with knife and, and a file, and we got this down so this fits very tight. We'll tap this on here. Let me show you. Now what we want now is that we want this part here to be square to this part, and then we'll take and. Uh, put wedges in here and span this out so that this gets uh, this fills this space any other space that's left here uh, I'll fill with uh, epoxy filler or some bondo so that the head stays real tight to the handle now from here in this part right here this is all wood and it filled this filled the whole space except for a little bit right here but uh, so it's it's solid on the handle but because this is a uh, small uh, this axe was for handle was for a smaller axe then we end up with some voids here so we'll fill those and then sand this off and make it real pretty clean up the handle a little bit and then and then we have our our axe for our project all right got the axe here in the vise and got some rags around here so the vise doesn't leave marks on my handle and so we're going to put this wedge in here like this and pound this down all the way and then let that expand and in the uh, crack there, we'll get it started here. We're probably going to have to go off camera because it's it's a two-handed job. But anyway, you can you can tell we get that down there as far as it'll go, and then we'll take and trim this off, and then like I said, it'll fill whatever voids are left with uh, bondo. And as you can see, th this here will will spread out and fill the most of the space but there'll still be some little spots right here that need to be filled so we got this all completed and filled as you can see it wasn't too much extra there the wedge filled out very nice and i darkened the handle a little bit like i did the other one so very pleased something different you can't make money doing this but you sure have fun doing it so here we have both of them together and so now I have a match pair one smaller and one a little bit bigger but they're great little axes especially when you're out you just need to cut a couple little limbs or you need a little bonfire wood in the backyard or or you want to uh, you know take it with you camping so I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be back next week with another adventure Please subscribe and share, and thanks a lot. God bless.